President Trump says the U.S. will withdraw from the Paris Climate Change Agreement for a look at the science of climate change and how the deal was trying to slow down global warming. Here's CBS Minnesota WCCO Director of Meteorology, Mike Augustinak. To understand why the Paris Climate Accord is important, you have to understand a little bit about the science behind climate change. CO2, or carbon dioxide, is what drives climate change. And we know from direct measurements that we are at the highest levels of CO2 in the atmosphere that we've been since the 1950s. If we look back a little further using trapped air bubbles in glacial ice, we can actually see back 800,000 years. And again, we see that we're at the highest levels of CO2 that we've been in that entire time, so that actually predates human civilization. The whole goal of the Paris Climate Agreement is to control or lower greenhouse gas emissions in an effort to slow the global warming trend. President Obama back in 2015 proposed that the U.S. would roll back climate emissions or greenhouse gas emissions around 25 percent by the year 2025. That was just a pledge. That was nothing binding about that, as there's nothing binding about the Paris Climate Accord. It sets a goal of slowing climate change to less than two degrees Celsius or about three and a half degrees Fahrenheit over the coming decades. But for any individual nation that doesn't meet that goal or stick with its original plan, there's really no consequence to that. It's more of dangling a carrot as opposed to using a stick to get the results. So there's still some hope that cities and individuals can make choices in their daily lives to do things that help control climate change, but they'll have to do that on their own as opposed to being part of this bigger agreement.